advantage. Hold on. He doesn't see us. He's not shooting at us. There we go. He's our left. Yes, finally. So we know all about the rocket builds, like the Glacier Behemoth, and especially the Avalanche Behemoth. But what about the Shranga with Zar rockets? Remember, like last summer, these weapons got buffed, and they shoot more like tridents now with three shots. 10 second reload, which is a bit long, but range 500 meters. And do these things go through shields? That's my question, because you'd assume they have a big enough splash damage as a Titan rocket to go through shields. And we're gonna run triple cannibal reactors and one anti-control. And then in the second game, let's switch it up and go three onslaught reactors. Cause I think these things are gonna be best against Titans rather than normal robots because of all the drone shields that pop up. So let's go cannibal reactors and then onslaught reactors. And we have that full power ability as well. And also the behemoth smuta I have not used yet since the rebalance. So let's try that out that out as well with the nerfed reload but increased damage okay dead city i actually changed my mind and i put the um we're gonna charge this sharanga but i put the cannibal reactors on the sharanga first and then we're gonna if we can get a good game then we'll switch it up for onslaughts afterwards oh because i i really do think the rockets the czar are only going to be good against titans because they're such big Robots that don't have a whole lot of shielding typically you only have the north light that can really give you shielding, right? You don't have that drone shielding oh, What is that freaking Erebus Prism? Are you kidding me? Okay, we gotta load up our Titan though. Load up the Titan. Let's freaking do this man Churn him up. It went stealth. Oh, we got it. Nice. There we go. There we go we, He was dropping and we took him down And we took him down this guy, this guy. We had so many homing bullets, harpies, and sirens, man. What is that? What is that? I don't even know. I don't even know what that is. This guy, this guy. Come on, come on, come on. What is that? Is that a harpy or siren? Oh, come on, come on. Oh, he's taking off. Oh, this is a bad idea. Bro, we're so deep in enemy territory. Okay, there's a double kill. Oh, we have 2,000 health. We got 2,000 freaking health. Heal, 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 heal. I'm gonna die. Oh, okay. That was dumb. I jumped all the way into their spawn. That was just a bad idea. Okay, here's our behemoth smuta. Whoa! Behemoth puncher right here. Okay. Remember, the smuta now have a longer reload, but they still have increased damage. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Hold on, hold on. Almost, almost. Oh, okay. Somebody took the kill. Okay, the 18 second reload is pretty long, but correct me if, our, if I'm wrong, but they did get that tier four blanket damage buff, right? I don't think they were excluded from that. So it means they're doing a lot of damage, but the reload is 18 seconds, which is pretty long compared to like, you know, the avalanche or something that's six seconds. Come on, cheer him up. Here, okay, Titan's almost charged up. I don't, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. All right, all right, all right. Leech, leech. Okay, they have center beacon. I'm gonna see if I can... I can't... Oh, they're getting four. They're getting a four cap. They're getting a four cap. That's not good. That is not good. Whew, that damage is looking still pretty nasty. Still an absolute spam and eggs combo. Who eats spam? Oh, I almost had the Seraph. I almost had him. Is do they have double Prisma builds back there? Are you serious? I think they have two. Is it two Erebuses? Two Prisma builds back there. I think one might be a Behemoth. One's a uh, Erebus. Oh, his Reflector. His Reflector can't save him. Bingo. Okay, there we go. Titan is charged up. Okay, should I ditch this? I might have to ditch the thing soon. Oh, he's got suppressed. I'll, I'll be aggressive with this Behemoth and we can switch into the Sharanga. Okay. Okay, remember, we have three onslaughts on our shrink. Uh, this guy, this guy. They're firing blackout abilities at me, and they hit me. And they freaking hit me. We're actually down to the beacon bar right now. I'm trying to kill that Erebus back there. Oh, is that an Ao- Whoa! Ao Ming. Ao Ming. That is going to be my next target. That Ao Ming must die. Okay. Let's drop in our Sharanga here. Fire away. 
Okay, well that answers our question. We do not go through Aegis Shields. Unless that was some sort of bug. Okay, exile him. That is crazy. How do Czar not go through shields, but Avalanche do? And I know the explosive expert skill is the difference, but still, these are Titan rockets. You'd think they'd have a massive splash radius. There we go. All right, shoot him up. Shoot him up. Okay, I don't know if I already said this or I messed it up, but this is a onslaught module. Three onslaught reactors, one anti-control. I switched it up, and we'll do cannibals next. How did that not kill him? We just unloaded three. Because remember, we have three separate rockets now. That was the rebalance that happened like last summer with the Czar. They now shoot individually as rockets. You can fire three rockets in the... They used to be just one shot. The 10 second reload is still a bit long though, where you can't do anything. I love the laser pointer on this thing, on these weapons. That is a Sharanga back there. I would love to shoot him. He's got a damage advantage. Hold on. He doesn't see us. He's not shooting at us. There we go. Okay, that was decent. That was decent. He's got Dazzler, so he has more range and can target malfunction us, but... Actually, let's unload here. That's the guy who killed me! Woo! -hoo -hoo. That was like 60% of his health, and I think he's healing now. Okay, Aegis Shields are the problem. How do we get through Aegis Shields, man? We can't. Oh, come on. Some of that got blocked there. I even hit my full power ability. The full power gives us another 50% damage. Okay, come on. Let me get him. We splash through this. Oh my gosh. He's, we still didn't get him. He's healing up, I think, too. Oh, now we have to hit down his stupid shield. My gravity amp. Yeah, that's why I'm so freaking slow. We're actually down a bit on the beacon bar right now, which isn't great. Okay, his shield is down now. This is our chance. That guy's might come at me. I think he's in like a harpy though. Okay, here, here. Full power. Finally, there we go. Titan Slayer. Okay, let's exile that guy. Hit her north light. That Ao Ming is still back there. Oh, Hawk dropping in right here. Uh-oh. He and he's taking off. That might deal some serious... Oh, he's lagging out. He's lagging out and it's helping us. And my teammate's got a mender. Oh my gosh, see the drone shielding? It is confirmed the Czar do not go through shields. And it's super annoying. Because it completely ruins the Czar. Double kill, I gotta sneeze. Okay, yeah, I just absorbed the sneeze. <laughs> I can't sneeze. Okay, alright, gotta stay focused. Mirror mitts, mirror mitts. Okay, he's firing at my teammate, thankfully. There we go, that's a lot of damage. That's some good damage. I wish we had a new camp, that'd be insane. Exile him. Okay, our reload is ready. Okay, right when that exile is done. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, the beacon bar is evening out, but they still have a slight lead. They still have a slight lead here. Oh, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, bro. Don't shoot me. Oh, another Titan. I think they got multiple Titans out. That guy, we did not hit. I think... That guy in the back might be AFK, I'm not sure. What is this? Scorpion with sonic weapons. Get out of here, nerd. You bag of sour eggs. Is that an Indra? Yeah, maybe. Okay, we're getting... We almost got... Do we have a four cap? Four cap, I think. All right. Oh, that guy is AFK. We just wasted a freaking full salvo of rockets. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I had to use my exile, and this ain't looking good here. That did not register properly. Those rockets did not register properly on the scorpion, but I think... Did we get the win? Yes! Okay, we got the win. We got the win. The damage on Titans was decent, but it seemed super underwhelming when we shot regular robots. Because since we have three separate rockets, the first one would trigger drone shielding, and then the other two would just get blocked. So it was super annoying. 4.6 million, one beacon, not too bad, but... Okay, now I'm gonna switch out for Cannibal Reactors. So we had Onslaught, now let's go Cannibal Reactor on the Sharanga Czar. Factory, city. It's not, it's not a city, it's just a factory. I don't even know why it's called factory, honestly. It doesn't even look like a factory. It looks like, I don't know. It looks like somewhere you'd play paintball or something. 
Okay, and there's just green slime everywhere. Okay, they got a, what is that, a Nether and a Skyros coming up that right side. Okay. Just start firing away. Fire away! Oh, he's making a push. Bro, is that the same guy from the last game that was on... I've got a freaking Prisma guy in the back on my team. Okay, this is going to be difficult. This is going to be rather difficult. He's got so much resistance. Is he really going to do that? Why wouldn't he even try pushing me off the beacon, bro? What is he doing? I would have thought he would have at least tried to push me off the beacon. Uh-oh. They capped the beacon. They're going to drop in support. They're going to drop in support. I know it. I know it. I know it. Yup, there it is. Okay. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. This is going to be difficult. I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to go to this beacon. Protect the beacon. Protect the beacon. Don't let him get it. I don't know why this guy isn't trying to... Oh. Oh. He's on a ball. He's on a ball. We're in stealth. We're in stealth. Drone shielding saved him. And he's back in ball form. Oh. Stupid. Stupid. Meatball. There. Okay, there we go, finally. We finally got the opportunity to kill him, and we did. Okay, we're getting... Okay, Beacon D is secured, but they have... Wait. Oh, they have our home beacon, but we have center. And... Did we really just get stuck on this? I didn't even know you could get stuck on that. I thought it was a... a you know, a transparent object you can just walk through. Okay, don't mind me. I'm gonna grab this beacon. It's a nether. It's a nether. Oh, man. Those, these nether builds are super hard to take down, and we're going to die. Those nether builds are all over Champion League. Okay, let's go. It's time. Okay, so we have cannibal reactors, which means we get 120% more damage just from cannibal reactors on Titans, but not regular robots. We don't have any damage boost from our modules for regular robots. Can we hit, that's, it, that's a nether. Can I hit him from here? Oh, okay, it landed a bit. I think it's some of that fired into the wall. So remember, 120% plus another 50%, 170% damage boost with Canberra Reactors in full power. This guy's dropping. Let's see if we can wipe him out. Oh my gosh! See what I'm talking about? We were going to kill that Seraph, and the other rocket just got blocked by the shield. It's, why can these weapons not go through shielding? That's so dumb. Avalanche can, but these can't. Are you serious? Titan weapons. The the fact that these aren't the strongest rocket weapons in the game because they can't go through shields is kind of ridiculous. They have a couple different Titans out right now. I want to kill that Ether, but he's in, he's behind cover. Well, that is a... He's got, he's got an Aegis shield, though. That Miramits. I'm just going to fire anyways, I guess. One shot. That didn't even land. You guys saw that. That third freaking shot hit him and did not land. The damage didn't land. These weapons seem super buggy. I don't know what it is, but half the time they're getting blocked by shields. The other 30% of the time, they're just not registering properly on robots. And then 20% of the time, they work. They work Every time, 80% of the time. Okay. Exile him. All right, let's see. Come on. We got 975,000 elements. What did we start with? Full power. Okay, see, that was decent damage. That was decent. It wasn't crazy damage, but you guys saw the damage stats at the beginning. It's not insane. It's without upgrades. It's something like, what was it? Like 11,000 per shot times three... It's like 33 times 3, so it's like 100,000 damage per clip. Which isn't crazy when you're talking about Titan weapons. It's an Ether. I can't... Can I hit him? The splash is so bad, I can I didn't even hit him there. Oh my... These are just disappointing. This is disappointing me big time. Maybe... Okay, we landed there. Oh, we knocked off one of his weapons, but this ain't looking good. Oh, man. We got no shielding. We're going down. We're going down! We lost one weapon. Oh, somebody killed him. Somebody killed him. We have 95,000 and two Zara left. Yes, finally. Finally, we got... Is that our first Titan Slayer? That was kind of embarrassing. 
Is this guy gonna kill me now? Is this guy? Is this freaking angler? Oh man, he's probably gonna kill me. All right, well, see you later. Are those my teammates or enemy? Oh, those are my teammate ethers. I thought they were enemy teammates. Okay, let's go, Emuji. Oh, they just changed it. They changed center. They changed center. Um, can I drop? Okay. Okay. We didn't get a good kill streak this game. That was terrible. But we better at least win the game. Now you guys have a pretty ac that was a pretty accurate representation of these things of those czar. Grab center, grab center. Switch, switch beacon, switch beacon, switch beacon. Blah, 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 blah. Bingo, beacon switched. Okay, we'll grab the amp right now. We have a slight beacon bar lead. Come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him. Come on, we got him, we got him. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, are you serious? That Demeter then his stealth saved him. Okay, push this. Man, I've been really liking the Emuji as a beacon runner lately. It might, I think it's the best beacon runner in the game, honestly. You can cap beacons, then you can teleport back after you capture them and lead your teammates into beacons as well with the teleporter. Whoa! Oh, that, those Glive just went through our last stand. That's why we died. Kept going for this guy. He's camping in the back. Behemoth Prisma, time to die. Time to meet the devil. Kill. Bro, you can't be camping with the Behemoth Prisma on factory map. It's not a, it's not a, a camping map. It's not like Springfield where it actually works. Oh, grab the amp. Okay, under three minutes to go, and I'm fully stuck in lockdown right now. This is fantastic. This is my dream. Double. Oh, don't drop in, don't drop in. Do not drop in. Oh, that is not good. Okay, so he's... He's damaging us, but he's also making our weapons stronger. He stopped shooting at us. Get me to the north light. He's gonna be close. He's pretty low on health. Get him, get him. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost, almost, almost. Get him. Oh, okay, we didn't get the kill, but he's dead. He is dead, and we're gonna die too. Okay, we went down, but somebody killed the Indra. We did most of the damage, I think. He missed Muta? Oh, is there gonna be a chance? Their team looks like they might be mecking out here. They're losing momentum. We're getting a five cap, and they got two players left. Five cap and two, five versus three, and hold the five. Okay, I guess that is, that was a game. Okay, so the verdict, those Zar need a buff. They need more damage, a shorter reload, and make it so that the area of damage can go through shield. That should be a top priority. That's the first one. Buff the area effect so it can go through shields. Not bad damage, but like not great either. And the onslaught build in that first game was definitely better. We had a better kill streak with it. Candle Reactor, eh, not so much. Buff the Zar. The Rocket Sharanga needs to make a comeback. Peace. Pizza ice cream.